come with me back in time. I was in fifth grade. My mother told me to stop missing the bus. But she was like, if you guys miss the bus again, you're going to walk to school. The lizard and her lizard sisters got the bus like normal children. We all would go out there together, just, you know, outside around the bend. It was seriously maybe a hundred feet from our house. And then we'd all go to school, to the same school. Sixth, fifth, and baby grade. This one particular day, something happened. Something earth shattering. Me and Emily forgot our lunch boxes. Of course, we couldn't go to school without them. That would be ridiculous. How can you learn without a lunchbox? Emily had a brilliant plan. She said, Liz, why don't we go back and get our lunchboxes and Charlotte can ask Penny to wait for us. This was not a good idea because Penny, the bus driver, really didn't like us. You had me, an obnoxious, hyperactive child, Emily, the emo, and Charlotte, like, she was just annoying. I mean, I really don't blame Penny for hating us. We, me and Emily, ran back home, and we are like, Charlotte, do not let Penny leave us. Just stall her. Charlotte was like, yes, I'll do it. We ran in to the house. We grabbed our lunchboxes. We looked out the back to patio, you know, door, and we see this giant yellow thing driving along, moving away. There's our mom behind us. Why are you on the bus? I'm gonna kill you! We were pretty effed. Pretty effed, I would say. My mom is like, I told you you'd be walking. In her mother mind, she had formed a plan. She was just gonna, you know, send us out on our way, have us walk a little bit, you know, scoop us up, and drive us to school with this new kernel of wisdom in our hearts. This was the plan. Emily ran to the garage and she got her bicycle and she tore off down the streets of Strongsville, Ohio. I said to myself, I could do that too. So I went to get my bike. But of course, my mom came out and saw me. You can't ride that. No, God, you gotta walk. I, sobbing, stormed out down the street in my plaid schoolgirl jumper. I tromped fearlessly, kicking at rocks, shouting angrily at squirrels. This went on for about two miles, which was, you know, a significant distance for me back in that day as I was a child and I didn't know what exercise was. Imagine my surprise when a school bus pulls up next to me. So I was like, has Penny come to beg forgiveness? It can't be. In fact, it was just some other bus. A strange bus I had no knowledge of. This bus stopped beside me and I just climbed right aboard because it seemed like the smart thing to do. There was this like woman there driving it. She closed the door with her little wand. There's no other kids on this bus. That was my first sign of Hmm, maybe I'm about to be killed and buried in a gutter somewhere. And then I see my mother driving by in our family minivan, wondering where her children are, because neither of them are where she thought they were going to be, aka walking along and learning a life lesson. One of them was probably already at the school by then, and the other one had been abducted by a rogue bus driver. And the third one was a traitor, so she didn't matter. I said to the bus driver, excuse me, bus driver, um, that's my mom, can you let me off? Please! And she was like, I can't do that, I'm sorry. Oh crap, I'm probably gonna get killed. I didn't actually get killed. I got to school eventually, I mean, it was like lunchtime. Probably the most interesting part of that story is how I was nearly killed by a scary woman. Those were definitely more words with lizard.
I thank you for watching, and I apologize that they keep getting longer and longer. But this lizard is just full of words.